so yeah that is the update your girl got some really dumb excited this is where we are So it's been over a whole year and some months since I've shared anything about my hair journey with you guys. And I've missed y'all. I've missed doing my hair, being on a routine, seeing it grow. But I have been going through some changes. So I'm here to share those today. If you've been watching for a while, I think I have mentioned a few times that I was having scalp issues and I wasn't really sure what was going on. But as you can see, I've been having a lot of like white patches and flakes in my scalp. And I finally went to the dermatologist and found out I have cerebic dermatitis or seborrheic, however you say it. But I really didn't know it was a thing until I seen like a lot of TikTok videos of people scratching their scalp and all that. So your girl is finally getting her scalp together. It's so crazy because I think this has been going on for about four years. It was like shortly after I had Carter, like maybe some months after I've had Carter and I noticed it in the back of my head. And honestly, y'all, like I didn't, I've never had scalp issues. I've never had really like dandruff or anything like that. I think just because I've always been on a really good wash routine um, and my scalp was never really irritated easily. And then all of a sudden I had my son and then my scalp just started acting totally different. I thought it was from me protective styling and you know all the chemicals and the braiding hair and things like that but um as you can see there's a lot of just flakes and just damage i finally got some medicated shampoo this is the shampoo i'm gonna be using this is my first time ever using it so i'm gonna see if this makes my scalp feel better i also feel like i have a mild case like i don't have severe severe buildup or anything but when it is irritated depending on the weather and like my stress and you know what's going on with my hair it it just gets really really itchy and then i'll start getting patches everywhere so i'm gonna try out the shampoo and see how the shampoo works for my hair and if it does anything special um and if it's worth me adding to my routine i hope it really is and the last thing i want to say is i do feel like having this eczema on my scalp has been thinning out my hair especially since it's been untreated for so long and i didn't know what was going on with my scalp um just especially in the back like the back of my hair breaks off easily anyway but just scratching and like having the patches and having to be really itchy at times. I feel like messed up, I don't know, damaged my follicles or, you know, just my scalp. So I do feel like it, it got thinner in the back, especially. And it's like slowly moving up towards the front. But I do feel like if I add these products to my routine and they work, that my hair will almost go back to normal and it'll be more of a flare up instead of consistent itching all right y'all so i put this soap in my hair this is the keto conazole shampoo uh i sent a picture of it this is my first time using it i was kind of nervous because y'all sent me like trying to lift up the dirt on my scalp and i was like dang the shampoo might burn but it actually doesn't burn at all which i'm very happy for i really just focused it on my scalp it's actually for five minutes it's really been like five minutes but i'm gonna let it sit a little longer my problem areas are definitely like the, the back the back is really but the front is starting to get especially this side i think because i you know like i sleep on this side and stuff it's starting to get get worse um so yeah i tried to make sure I pulled my hair apart and got all in between the areas. It actually has no smell. It's like a red shampoo. So we'll see how like my hair feels like after I really shampoo it. And I want to see how my uh, scalp actually looks because recently when I've been shampooing for like months and months now, um, I shampoo and even though my hair and my scalp is really clean, I still get like white patches, which is probably like the dry patches on my scalp. Especially like in here and in the back, I can't really see. But I'm going to jump in the shower, do the rest of my hair care routine. I'm just going to do a regular shampoo after this, moisturizing shampoo. And condition my hair because my hair is actually dirty. Um, and then I'll see how my scalp is feeling. All right, y'all. So I just got out of the shower. My scalp feels so lifted. I mean, my hair was really dirty for a while because I had mini twist in for like I think three and a half no I might have mini twist in for a, a month 
and then I just kind of let it out so my hair's been dirty for five weeks so it's been it's been bothering me but my scalp feels super clean I really like that shampoo I expected it to be really drying but um it was good because I only focused it on my scalp so it's not like all my hair is dry um so no my scalp feels good it feels clean um it didn't burn at all for me like lifting up any other debris on my scalp um I made sure it sat it probably sat like eight minutes honestly even though it's at five and then I followed up with my cucumber shampoo and like really got the rest out of my hair. I combed my hair through, put my deep conditioner in. I didn't let my deep conditioner sit that long because I was in the shower, but my hair feels clean. Okay, so honestly, this is the next wash day because that's how I let it air dry. But this time we're going to blow dry my hair. So I'm using the Gabrielle Union Flawless. And then these are my medicated drops for my scalp as well. I'll add those once I'm done blow drying. Um, this cream, it's okay, to be honest. I'm not going to sit here and act like it's my favorite cream. I just use it because this is all I have, and I honestly don't blow dry my hair often. But, um, yeah, my hair is nice and clean. Scalp feels good. Um, like I said, my hair has been thinning out, and it's been breaking off really bad. Not only because of that, uh, the dermatitis, but honestly, i just been really stressed and going through a lot within the last year. And my hair, I haven't been taking care of my hair like that, so my hair has been slowly just breaking off and breaking off you can see the ends are just they're just a hot mess and i need to take care of it so yeah that's what i'm about to do i'm about to clip my ends show y'all all this damage and see how these drops feel on my scalp and also if you see a bruise on my arm it's because i was about to fall down the stairs and i caught myself and i hit my arm on the railing kind of hard so yeah don't mind that all right y'all so i just blow dried my hair and I don't really blow dry often. Um, but y'all, I know I can see it. Y'all can see these see-through ends. Like, y'all see it right here? I know we all see it. I know we see it. Um, So, you know, I'm trying to go back on my healthy hair journey because I've been neglecting my hair and it's showing so clearly i'm just gonna cut these raggedy ass ends because i know for me damn that's like a good inch mm. it's always the back too always anytime my hair gets like to my shoulders i gotta chop it off every time i'm just gonna chop it i just want to get it back healthy y'all like that's my goal i've neglected my hair for almost like almost a year like half definitely like three-fourths of a year so we just gonna chop chop it off i've done this before and i'll do it again and yes if you want your hair to be super even i suggest you go to a salon but we don't got time for all that i mean the back is literally the hardest part because i can't see nothing okay that's what it's gonna look like look at that Y'all can't even like, that's gonna be like an inch off my hair. Oh well. That was not straight at all. It wasn't straight at all. There we go. That's better. All right, let me get my other mirror just to see. It's not that bad. Wait, wait. I need to clean this mirror. All right, it's not that bad. I mean, like, it definitely could be evened out a little bit more, but I'll take it for now. Ooh, this shit look like it's about to be layered, y'all. I'm not even going front. It's looking layerish. It's looking layerish. It's looking layerish. It's okay. It's <laughs> I mean, I be getting scissor happy. That's my thing. I be like, ooh, you know what I'm saying? Look at the mangoes. And then I start chopping. Look at that. Can y'all see that? Let me see. <laughs> I don't even care. I don't care. I can even it out at another time. I just, them dead ends, they're not going to help with growth. 
No, honestly, my front is never as bad as the back. Like, and plus I can see the front, but um, my front really isn't that bad. And honestly, this does not need to be cut much so it can be even. So I'm really just gonna dust the ends in the front. All right. I should've took like a before and after picture. I feel like this is low key where my hair was before, like the last time I really trimmed it. And before I started neglecting it, this is like about where my hair was. I think this looks so much better, y'all. Like, it's not perfect, but you can just tell like, yes, my ends are nowhere near as bad as they were. When I first showed y'all, I'm gonna put a little, but this looks a lot better. Okay, look. I know I look crazy, but this is, you can still see a little bit of the see-through end. So that's like definitely like a half an inch to inch, but um, I think that looks a lot better. So quick little update. I washed my hair today, obviously. Um, that was the second time I used the medicated shampoo. Technically, she told me I had to use it before, like twice that week, but I was just so busy, I couldn't even do it. But I do think I have a, a mild case of cerebic dermatitis because honestly, after that first time I used it, it was pretty much gone. Like the itching stopped immediately. I haven't, my scalp has not been itching since I used the shampoo the first time, but I have been using these drops not as consistently as I should. But like, again, I think I do have a mild case because you really only need to use this when you're having a flare up. And my flare ups, which I notice, are definitely when I'm stressed. I don't know what else yet. For the most part, stress. But if I part my hair, um, it might be a little dry. This is why this went on for so long. Like, it looks good. You know what I'm saying? Like, also, I just washed it. It's a little dry still but it's not flaky like it was before at all, which is fine. I'm just glad I know what it is now, know how to treat it. I got some new products coming, which I'm excited to use that will help that. And yeah, let it do what it do and try to keep it healthy. So every Monday, try to do a wash day. All right, I will see y'all in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and see y'all later. Bye.